Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Harika. So in today's video, actually I have come up with an idea to showcase and use case or something that is useful for everybody because recently I have taken API automation event, a workshop on API automation. So I have seen some of the questions around why are we actually getting this information using an API? Why do we need them and where we use them? So that's a definitely a very good question because whenever you learn something, if you get a question like, why do I need this and where do I use this? It will help you to apply the concepts that you've learned, right? So as I always mention about how you can apply your thoughts, how you can utilize any of the concept that you have learned by putting it up in a use case that will definitely help you, right? So today I am going to show you how you can use these API calls or API endpoint URLs in order to fetch something from your actual running processes, okay? So let's assume in a scenario, let me put up a notepad. So let's assume in a case where you are running so many jobs in a day. Okay, so in that jobs, a few jobs got successful and few of them were faulted. So what you have to do is whatever the jobs that are faulted for those jobs, you are picking the information. Okay, so whichever the job that is faulted, you're picking that particular job and you're creating a request in Jira or in service now. So if uh, I, I'm going to show you this use case end to end and not only in studio, but I'll also show you how you can test the API in uh, Postman. So from the beginning till the end, each and every step I am going to showcase you. So this is a complete use case on how you can utilize the API calls in a real time project. So first of all, I am going to take the API Okay, so first thing is I'm going to take the API, which is used to get the faulted jobs information. Okay, and after that, so this thing I'm going to show you in the postman first, so that you will understand how you can test an API. Okay, this is the first step. And in the second step, the same postman API, how you can put up in the HTTP request that is in your studio request okay so while i'm showing this http request i'm not going to show you the authorization and authentication how we do it because i have shown that in many of the previous videos already so if you wanted to check out that video i'll quickly show you how you can reach out to my channel and how you can get that knowledge on authentication so just go to my channel on my channel the easy way you can figure it out is go to the playlist in the playlist if at all you wanted to check out API automation with Postman, there is Orchestrator API Postman. Okay, just click here. You will be gone there and then you can see all those videos, how you can do authorization, get the folders and all of that using Postman. If you wanted to see it through Studio, Orchestrator API HTTP request, there's another playlist. Just click on this and you will be gone to this particular playlist where you can see all the you can see all the videos uh, using API automation, but in the studio, that means using HTTP request. Okay, so these two playlists will give you the enough idea and complete understanding of orchestrator API calls. Okay, so if at all you're not used to uh, Postman, this uh, videos will help you how you can categorize the things, how you can test the Postman, API calls in the Postman or all of that. So by end of this playlist, you will have a clear idea. Okay, coming back. Yes, here is my API. So if you see here, I'm going to get the process status. Okay, so if you see, I have to provide few informations for that, right? So what are those information? So first of all, I'm copying this whole URL, okay? So let me go to my Postman and I'm gonna create one request here, okay? What is the request? Get request. And then I'm gonna paste it over here. And what is the, my URL? So till orchestrator underscore, you can get it from your tenant, okay? 
so i have got this from my tenant i'm just directly pasting it over here okay you can directly get this from your tenant okay done so as soon as you add them you will see sorry i i i shouldn't have sent it yeah as soon as you add this you can see the parameters getting added right you can see the filter and order by okay and then what you have to do here is you have to change whether what state you wanted to get whether it's a successful or what is the release name so basically what does it mean by release name is um whether you wanted to get it from which particular process okay so how to know what are the what is the process and all is very simple quite simple i've already uh, made a video on it on like how to get the processes and all so you can see the information here how to get all the processes right so you can get to see that how to how do you do that over here so in filter you have which is a uh, state and the release name so before to that what is the other thing that you should do is authorization so for authorize because if you see here it is not authenticated okay so i'm taking barrier token and i'm just copying my barrier token from here and because i have my authorization done already so i'm just pasting that over here didn't i do it let me send now okay so we can see there was zero because why it is zero but you know in the success uh, the call is call status is 200 that means the request has been sent and the response is a successful response but the output the number of jobs uh, that are there in this particular condition that means successful and the release name also if you see the release name is something just i kept in a random way okay so if i just take it off i just wanted to get only the successful jobs i'll just delete and and then i'll send the request so if you see here there are four right there are four jobs which are successful i can see them here let's say if i wanted to get the faulted jobs how can i do that just change the status of this to faulted okay so i can see there are 11 jobs okay and you can see that <clears throat> over here and the what is the release name is test jira okay so let's say if you wanted to check only uh, the release name based on the release name what all the status is are there so previously there were 11 that were only faulted but if you see here there are 19 and if you say this is faulted and let's say if you also want to include and state is equal to success okay so here uh i can see this query options are wrong so yeah here i can just keep eq the best for the syntax and then this will be working so we can see that there is only one result that is successful and where the release name is tesjira and the status of the job the state of the job is successful right so this is how you can actually fetch the data using the postman so this much if this much is clear for you what we can do is just replicate the whole thing by putting it up in the studio by using the http request how we can get the values so once after we get the values from there whatever the values that that means whatever the jobs that are faulted for this so let let me put it as a faulted because our whole interest is to get all the faulted jobs for this particular process so i am going to get this 11 jobs and i'm going to create 11 jira tickets for all these processes with the information whatever the info that is there under the summary of the 
job because if you see here let me quickly show you the jira instance also so if you see here if you wanted to create a jira ticket there are few mandatory fields right you should provide the key you should provide the summary so whatever the summary that we are getting that means the information like what exactly the reason is wrong object reference not set to an instance of the objects and some details like where it went wrong and all of the information so all that information we will be hosting in the summary and we will be creating the ticket and rest of the few details what are mandatory to create the ticket i will be showing soon but yeah this is about that part so yes so in this we have seen the first part how to get all the faulted jobs information using postman and in the next video i will show you how we will get the uh, details how we can process the same thing in the http request that means in the studio and after that i will show you how we can create a jira ticket i don't think it this will take much time so i'll try to cover the jira ticket also in the next video itself so to not miss these videos and you get the notification as soon as i post them do hit uh, do subscribe to my channel and also hit the notification bell so that you will get the videos as soon as i upload them and you don't miss out any and also if you are interested to join the whatsapp channel to get the instant notifications and updates on the ui path i will also give that particular link of the channel in the description do click that link in order to join the channel thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video till then bye